Okay, what we have here is a violation of section 250.53G. Rod and pipe electrodes like this are supposed to be driven into the ground so that at least eight feet of the rod is in contact with the earth. And as we can see, it looks like we came up a little bit short here, at least if this is an eight foot rod. If it's a 10 foot rod, you may actually have eight feet in contact with the earth. However, in either case, we have a violation uh, here because the end of the rod is required to be flush with or below ground level, unless protected from physical damage. But in this case, there's no protection afforded. So this end could get damaged. The wire itself could get damaged. Um, and then the entire service could lose its connection to Earth. This is Russ LeBlanc, NEC consultant for ECNM Magazine.